Hi everybody, Eric here with another video. This time we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Studio Series Infinity Saga, Iron Man Mark 85, and Thanos with the Nano Gauntlet. Um, before I talk too much about these figures, let's take a look at his box. Their boxes, actually. Um, here we are with the box. Uh, this thing is actually really, really big. You can see their Iron Man Mark 85, Marvel Studios Infinity Saga. This is a nice embossed text. Uh, multiple colors there. Thanos. The figure should be right here. It says this is from Avengers Endgame right up there. You guys can barely see it though. Hasbro Marvel Legends series. I like that this is a black, you know, like, you know, because this is like a higher end collectible, I guess. Anyway, here's the side. It shows all the characters in the Infinity Saga. Here's the back. A poster of Marvel's Avengers Endgame. And a read up on Iron Man and Thanos. Bottom. Nothing on the bottom. Same thing on the sides, that was the box. Now let's take a look at the figures. Here we are back with the figures, guys. And uh, first of all, I wanna be honest, um, these are my first Marvel figures in forever. And if I'm being completely honest, I honestly only bought this for the Thanos since I kinda wanted one of my collection. But um, yeah, these actually are really, really nice. Um, this is pretty expensive, by the way, too. Um, usually the, the Marvel Legends 2-packs are only 40 bucks. This one did ring me at $62. Um, I'm guessing it's because these sculpts are pretty crazy. They do come with a bunch of accessories and they're part of that Marvel Studios Infinity Saga series. I'm not sure, but um, first impressions, these things are really nice. Uh, we can take a look at the Iron Man first. This is the Mark 85 from the movie Avengers Endgame. Uh, you know, apart from that little paint splotch right there, this doesn't look too bad. Um, it looks just like he does in the movie. Got a nice solid like bronzish gold. And we got honestly, it looks like he showed in the movie. All the sculpting looks pretty nice. It looks like muscles on here, you know. Really, really nice sculpting. Um, you know, for this being like a more of an exclusive collector type of figure, I would have liked a little bit more um, shading or stuff on the red. You know, it's just, just a flat red plastic. There's a lot of marbling here. You guys can see that. Anyways, uh, sculpting, you know, and uh, paint, you know. Uh, Stamps right there, kind of weird, but you know, it does look like he does in the movie. Uh, you know, we got the sculpting on the bottom of the feet, pretty movie accurate, I would say. Back side, same thing. Now, let's take a look at the Thanos, which is why I honestly really bought it. Real quick, take a look at the Thanos. Um, looks just like him. Uh, you know, he looks like he does in the movies. Um, this is uh, from the end game. I think that black stuff is when he turns to powder, you know, when he gets snapped away from existence. You know, first impressions, this thing looks really nice. Uh, you guys can see here that this gold looks different from here because this is painted on like bronze gold. This is sculpted gold. He does have like battle damage marks, you know, from his fight with the Avengers. This is soft plastic, by the way. Nice and soft. Um, the sculpting is really nice here. Got to give it to them. Sculpting is really nice all across the figure. Um, does look like he does in the movie. You know, got his gigantic weapon. His skin color looks pretty nice compared to the movie. I would just say, um, not a lot of paint detail. Um, I really would like if they put a little bit more like shading and stuff into these figures, but you know, for the price you're getting them at, it is not bad. Uh, let's take a look at their accessories. Starting off with Iron Man, he does come with quite a bit of accessories, um, all easily interchangeable. He comes with multiple hands. He comes with one fist hand. You guys can see that right there, one fist. He comes with two repulsor hands. Another one right here, two repulsor hands. He does come with a uh, Infinity Gauntlet snapping hand. You guys can see all the really nice details on there. All the Infinity Stones are right there. You guys can see that sculpted really nicely. Um, the one gripe I have is uh, like zero paint, but this is a really, really cool addition. It does snap on just like so, like this. And you can get him doing that end game pose. So he comes with, he still has more accessories. He has another fist hand. He does come with a holding hand. And he does come with a nano blade weapon. Like that nanotech he uses in Infinity War, I believe. Really, really nice sculpting. Um, nice clear blue plastic. It is a little pliable, but not bad. I'll show you guys how it works in a second. He does come with this nano shield, nanotech shield. Um, just a blue, um, uh, transparent accessory that just sticks on his arm like so. Get him to do a shield pose like he does against Thanos in the uh, Power Stone, I believe. 
It is a little bit floppy, but you know, you can put it a little bit lower on his forearm and it'll it'll hold like so. But it does leave some stress fracturing right here. Um, not bad though, it does look pretty cool. And some repulsor effects. Um, so this is what he looks like with the nano blade on him, like so. Uh, a little bit of paint bleeding right there, I think. Not too bad though, you know, it does fit pretty good in scale. Um, he, and he did use this in the movie, so it's pretty cool. Like I said, only gripe is the paint. And the repulsor effects do work really easily too. Just pop the hand in like so. And put the repulsor effects in. Like that. And you got him blasting with the repulsor blasts. Uh, these do fit in the feet as well, by the way. Um, he does come with two of these, like I said earlier. Um, they fit into the hands really, really nice, like I was showing you. And they fit into the bottom of his feet. Uh, they fit a little bit better into his feet than his hands since they do go all the way in. But, you know, he can be going like that. It does look pretty good. Aside from the hands, he does have alternate heads. This Iron Man Mark 85 comes with two Tony Stark heads. He has a normal civilian Tony Stark. Very, very awesome resemblance to Robert Downey Jr. Um, they, this, it does have really, really nice paint. You know, the beard looks really clean. The hair is sculpted awesomely, and I love the paintwork. Uh, really easy to come off, by the way. Um, you can see right here at the neck, it actually pulls off at the neck. You guys can see it a little bit tight the first time, but it does come off like so. Um, you can put in this head, and you know, it goes up to the neck, and it looks super clean. It looks just like RDJ. Awesome, and he does come with one more head. It would be the battle damage version when he uses the nano gauntlet. Um, you can see that same thing, except battle damaged. You know, he's bloody, he's beat up. Um, I would honestly say this one on the figure right now looks more like him than this one. The eyes look a little bit big on this battle damaged head. You can see basically the same thing, just, uh, um, you know, different paint. And the same thing, you know, just pop the head off and put it on like so. And ideally, this head is to be used with this hand, you know, with his, uh, about to snap the Infinity Gauntlet. You know, about to snap Thanos out of existence. Um, but pretty good. Uh, really, really not bad. Solid figure. Um, you know, uh, really nothing too much to complain about aside from the paint. And I will do articulation together, guys. So right now, let's look at uh, Thanos' accessories. So here we are with the Thanos figure. Um, Thanos does comes with way less accessories, but, you know, what he has really uh, is all he needs. So apart from this head you see on him right here, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Apart from that head, he does come with uh, three others. He comes with uh, smiling Josh Brolin. You guys see my hair right there? You guys can see that. Super, super likeness to the movie. Um, you know, basically perfect. This is him. This is him in his fighting pose, angry teeth. He comes with his scowling face when he first meets, uh, I believe, the Avengers in the future. Same thing, really, really nice paint on here, really nice sculpting, you know, compare them, the two. Uh, not bad, you know. Uh, not really the same face here, it's just smiling, it's just angry, scowl. And he does have his, I believe this is him turning to dust face. Um, I'm not sure, because it looks like rocks, to be honest, but I'm 90% sure this is him getting dusted away, um, and that would line into effect with all these marks on his armor right here uh you know a little quick comparison to that angry head really really nice paint and all these heads just pop off really easily um like so expose his head and we will put his dusted head on like so a little bit tight but there you go um his head looks really tiny like this but not bad you know really fits nicely and he does come with a lot along with the heads he comes with a snapping nano gauntlet hand um, crazy amount of detail on here. You can see this is, this has been super battle damage, you know, from the whole battle of New York, the battle at the Avengers compound. He is snapping, doing a snapping motion. Um, it looks like this. No infinity stones. And he does come with this hand. His, uh, you know, almost, I think, is complete. This is right before Iron Man dies, but he has the infinity gauntlet, uh, the nano gauntlet. Um, really nice articulation, by the way. But it does just come out like so and pop back in and make him do a snapping pose really really nice it looks super clean looks like it does in the movie and we also have his bladed 
double bladed sword. Uh, like I was saying, this is Thanos' double edged sword or his spinning uh, sword. This thing looks super nice. This is a pretty nice hard solid plastic. Um, it does have some nice details on here. Some, I believe it's, it could be alien text, could just be some patterns on there. Really, really nice. A nice uh, gunmetal silver. You got that goldish, honestly gold, very dull gold handle. Same thing on the other side. Um, they are the same thing, just mirrored. Yeah, it's a little bit thick. It's probably like six inches tall, honestly. Um, there he is compared to the figure. Pretty big. Um, no spinning motion like in the movie, but it does fit into his open hand. His right open hand really easily. As you can see like that. There you go. Fits really good with him and looks really in scale. Um, nothing more to really add to this Thanos. Um, I do have him with a different head on. Um, but it does look really clean. And honestly, this is what he is and what he had in Avengers Endgame. Um, now let's move on to the articulation, I would say. Uh, so Iron Man has pretty good articulation. Um, all these heads have really, really nice ball joints. I don't know if you guys can see that right up there. But it is a double ball joint going into the neck, into the head. So really, really nice range of movement. Full 360, everything. Um, if it's good like this... It's even better with his Iron Man helmet on. I just said to keep it on. Um, like I said, really, really nice range of motion. Really far back up, really far down, side to side, very expressive. Arms do do a full 360. On um, both sides, they're like on uh, ratchets a little bit. Arm goes out about that far. And it doesn't look like it can, but really, really nice. We got an upper arm swivel on both sides. We got a double jointed elbow. Really, really, really nice. Hands do do full through, through full 360 on both sides. And they can go like in and out on both sides. Um, the ab articulation leaves a little bit to be desired, but not too bad. Um, really nice far back to get a nice flight pose. Forward just a little bit. Could use a little bit more. A little bit of side to side. Um, full 360. Um, hips do go forward. Um, not as high as I'd like, but they do go forward. Not back at all. They go out quite a ways. We got an upper thigh swivel, a double knee. Um, it really could have benefited from a little bit further or a little bit farther up. Um, the foot, I think, can rotate a little bit. It looks like it. Could be wrong, but it does go down. And we got an ankle pivot on both sides, but the feet are very, very tight. So that was Iron Man. Now let's look at Thanos. Uh, for being such a large figure and very like big, stocky, buff guy, Thanos is not um, too bad in the articulation department. Um, the head can go up all the way, you know, a little bit. It is blocked due to this collar piece in the back. It does go down, not really much. Um, 360, mostly three. Yeah, it can go 360, but at an angle. Um, but, you know, he can look forward. Arm does go out. Um, this one goes farther out. He does have a piece of armor sculpted into the shoulder right here. Speaking of sculpting, uh, real quick, I forgot to mention it. All these battle damages includes his forearm right here and his leg pieces. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he does have some on the back too. Back of the belt, back here. Anyways, um, this arm does go farther out and uh, this doesn't impede articulation at all because it is a softer rubbery plastic. Anyways, the elbow does bend pretty deep on both sides um, and it does do a 360 at the elbow. The hand does go forward and back as does his nano gauntlet hand. Really, really nice, so you guys saw that earlier. And Iron Man's hands do that as well, all of them have the same motion. This hand actually goes like uh, at an angle like this. You guys can see the joint right there. Like so to hold the sword at an angle. He has a really, really nice deep elbow joint, or I mean uh, ab crunch. Really, really deep forward, really far back. Um, no waist swivel, but the legs do go forward. And back, um, this is my one gripe with this figure. You guys can see that. The leg does like to pop off. Um, I don't know why this happened right out of the box. I just got this yesterday, by the way. On the day of filming, I usually upload. I got this yesterday and his leg popped right out of the box. Um, not sure why. I mean, this might have been an old Build-A-Figure, but yeah, that's going on. Um, and it just keeps coming out. Anyways, so apart from that, he does have an upper thigh swivel. On both sides, double knee, really clean. The foot rotates 
and he goes down, up, and you got an ankle pivot. So that was the articulation, guys. Now let's get some size comparisons. First of all, there's Thanos next to Iron Man, six and a half inch figure, probably around seven, eight inches tall. Here they are next to Azrael, so it's easy to believe he is an eight inch figure. You can see he's still bigger than the Iron Man right there. Here they are next to Model Kit Eva 02. You can see he's still bigger. And uh, here they are next to another Hasbro line of the G.I. Joe movie Snake Eyes. Um, I'm not sure if this Iron Man is bigger or this Snake Eyes is short, but this Iron Man is really tall then. Um, I'm not sure why, but if this is not six inches, six and a half inches, then he must be six and a quarter or something bigger than six and a half. So here you are with uh, my final thoughts, guys. This is a really, really solid two-pack. Um, I never buy American Marvel toys. Um, I'd rather buy imports like my Revel Tech Carnage, which I will never review. Um, but I'm actually very surprised, um, not only in the quality of these figures, but their gigantic price tag. Um, 60 bucks is pretty expensive for like a domestic toy, in my opinion. You know, I'd rather spend that money on an import. You know, I'd rather even spend 20 more bucks to get like an SH figure art or you know, a Gundam, something, you know, something that's that expensive, you know what I mean? But this is not bad for its price tag. Um, 60 bucks. I mean, I know these individually are 26 bucks and I'm not sure if these are, if this is a reissue or not. Um, like I said, I really don't pay attention to these Marvel toys, but um, I'm genuinely surprised by the quality. This Iron Man is really nice and this Thanos blew me away. Aside from the leg you guys can see right there, um, this is not bad. I would super recommend just like I'd recommend you guys watching Shang-Chi. I just saw it. Awesome movie. Um, anyway, guys, that was the review. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you liked it. Be prepared for some Spider-Man stuff coming soon. Anyway, guys, that was the review. Peace.